two national records, 10 meet records, and uh, four world leads were set on the third stop of this year's uh, Diamond League series here in Rabat. This was the first time the Diamond League had come to Africa. And some of the African athletes who set uh, new times included the likes of Kasta Semenya from South Africa in the 800 meters, Samai Rushwal in the men's long jump, and Conselsas Kipruto in the 3,000 meters steeplechase. I'm beating in the points and it gives me a lot of morale. Uh, we still have a long way to go this season. We have Lumbi games, we have trials. So I think I have a lot of morale. It feels amazing, it feels good. Um, it just builds up my confidence every single time for me. The most important thing is be is get improved and be consistent because I'm obsessed with improvement. I love being improved and every single time, especially as kisses, consistency. Because now if I'm consistent, the big jumps will come. <laughs> uh, there's no secret, man. It's just a... Uh no hard training so yeah we work hard on training so we can race easily even though it's not easy to race you know against the rivals because you, you never know you can't underestimate your, your your rivals also you can't predict the race you just have to come with your mindset run your own race so that's what we're trying to do as is expected in one day meet the sprint did also offer its share of excitement and while Nigeria's blessing of Akbari was disappointed not to win in the 100 meters of finishing second to Jamaica's Elaine Thompson David Oliver, the 2013 110-meter hurdles uh, champion, was able to finally notch a Diamond League victory. It's good to win. It's very difficult to win in the 110 hurdles event. There's so many great guys in, um, that compete there, so I was glad to get a narrow victory today, and I feel like it really is a springboard uh, going into the U.S. trials for me in a month's time. The showstopper event of the day was the women's 5,000 meters, where reigning world champion over the distance, Alma Zayan of Ethiopia, was expected to break the world record, which stands at 14 minutes 11.15 seconds, held by her compatriot, Tiruneshe Dibaba. Well, she did get the victory and a world lead in a 14 minutes 16.31 seconds, falling short over that target. But she, however, says it is a dream she will keep on chasing this year. For the athletes who are unable to get a victory here in Rabat, they move on now with the Diamond League to Eugene, USA. And they will be looking to get some of those precious Diamond League series points. Celestine Karone, CCTV in Rabat, Morocco.